All right, welcome everybody. Thank you for joining this morning. Um, this is a, a fun opportunity to really just kind of spend a few minutes with you all and go through kind of where we're at, where we're going, what our strategic initiatives are for, um, for the coming year and even beyond that. Um, I know that, that you all, I'm sure, read every word of the email that I sent out last week, but I just wanted to take a few minutes and kind of expand on that a little bit. And then we've got some, some questions that were submitted. Thank you to those that, that submitted questions. Um, and I'll certainly take questions on the fly here as we go through. Um, and you know, feel free to unmute yourself. You can raise your hand, use that little button, um, or put them in chat. I'll be watching the chat box as well. Um, so Coffee with Christian, I really want to start this conversation, and this is not the only time that we're going to do this. This is going to be an ongoing series where really give you all a look into what's going on from big picture level. I think it's important as we kick off the year, like I said, to really kind of lay out what our strategic priorities are for the year um, and give you an idea of what we've been working on up here at corporate since the transition. We're about eight weeks in. It's been um, a fun eight weeks been like drinking from a fire hose, um, very busy, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. We've got an amazing team and I'm excited to, to share some of the things that we've been working on and some of the things that you're gonna see. Um, one of the questions that was submitted, and this is a question that a lot of people ask, um, was why? Why, um, why I decided to, to take this on and to, um, to become a majority owner of this company and, and really take it to uh, to the next level. And, and I know many of you have heard me say this, but it's probably worth repeating, especially in this platform. Um, but it's real simple. And that is, I believe in it. I believe in each and every one of you. And I've got a fierce loyalty to this company and to you all. And as David and the previous ownership group looked at um, looked at, at options um, and other, other suitors, um, it really made sense for them. And it made sense for me to have somebody from within the company step into this role and step into ownership. Someone who knows the company, knows you all, knows the culture of the company, and most importantly, our biggest asset, and that is the people. So I'm incredibly proud uh, to be able to build on the foundation that the previous owners um, have left and, and what they have done. Um, one of the things that you've heard me say, and, and I'll be repeating it probably several times today, hopefully not at nauseum, is having come up through the ranks of the company of, of starting as an agent all the way up to, to where I sit today is that I truly understand what it means to be agent first. Um, you know, at the forefront of everything that we're doing and everything we're going to do, we'll center around one simple question. And that's, is this going to help our agents be more successful? And I know that success looks different for each and every one of you. It looks different for all of us. And I have some sips of coffee here as I go. But really, that's that's really at the core of, of my ethos and, and what I believe is, as we move forward is, is making sure that you, our agents, have the tools and the resources to be able to do what you need to do to be successful. Obviously, growth um, is a big piece of our strategic plan. Um, our three-year goal is to double our market share. But that starts from within. First and foremost, We've got to put the right tools and resources into your hands to ensure that you have what you need to be successful. By creating this culture of winning, we're going to start attracting. So when I talk about growth and you hear me talk about wanting to double our market share, that doesn't necessarily mean doubling our agent count. It means attracting the right people. I think from within, if we can create a culture of winning, create a culture of being best in class, build on the reputation that we already have, we'll start attracting the right people and we'll start growing organically. We wanna make sure we're attracting the right people, those that are like you, that wanna operate at the very highest level of the industry and wanna be the best of the best. And I'll tell you, as, um, as the brokerage industry has, in, has evolved over the course of the last 10 to 15 years, it's made this progression of going from being broker-centric, probably 20, 25 years ago, it was all about the, the broker and the brokerage, to being agent-centric, to now a lot of companies talk about being consumer-centric. And I have a little bit different spin on that. Um, I strongly believe that we need to be agent-centric and the consumer-centric will follow. 
if we give you all the absolute best tools and resources, we give you the, the things that you need, our consumers will then have incredible experiences. You all are the, the mouthpieces and, and the billboards and the advertising for the brokerage. So we need to focus on you and focus on what your needs are as we move forward. I keep seeing comments in the chat about the Tim Brooks showing off there in Mexico. I'm going to join you for the next one. We're going to do coffee with Christian from Cabo next time. <laughs> so as we, as we move forward, I want to share with you our vision and our vision statement. And there's about, I think, four people, five people that have heard this. So you are going to be the first, first to hear it. But here it is. Your dream is our mission. Your passion is our purpose. Your future is our focus. As we say those words, as I say them, I think about you all. You could also think, at, think of it from the consumer perspective as well. Their dream is our mission. Their passion is our purpose. Their future is our focus. We'll be sending that out. And I don't have a lot of fancy slides for you today. Matter of fact, I don't have any, but we'll get that out to you all but I wanted to share that with you. Everything that I mentioned previously starts with one of those strategic initiatives that I sent out last week. And I think it's important that I start with this one. And that is really diving in and really building on this culture of collaboration. This is a big company and it's made up of a lot of different people with a lot of different opinions. And what's beautiful about it is the people have great ideas. Oftentimes, some of the best ideas come from you, the agents that are out there working in the field. And I know that, having been one. Um, so as we look at making improvements, as we look at making minor shifts to some big changes, we can't do that in a silo. We can't do it up at corporate and then expect you all to just buy in automatically to it. We have to bring you in and really focus on this culture of collaboration where we're bringing you into these conversations and making sure that the changes and improvements that we're implementing or even thinking about implementing are going to work for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the end user. You're the one that are gonna be using these tools. You're the one that are gonna be using the systems on a day-to-day -day basis. So we don't just wanna throw a whole bunch of stuff at you and hope that you like it, we want to make sure before we even get down the road with things that it's something that you're going to use, something that's going to be a benefit to you, and is going to, again, help you be successful. So as we talk about this culture of collaboration, one of the things that we've had in the past is um, some liaison groups with our marketing department. Our marketing department had, there was a representative from each office, and I'm sharing kind of the history of this because I know not everybody knows this. Um, but we had a representative from each office that met with our marketing team about once a quarter or so just to kind of bounce some ideas around for the marketing team to share what they have coming up. Um, and we had the same thing for technology. And while those will continue to some extent, they're going to be revamped a little bit. We really want to make sure that we're not just touching one person from each office, but we're touching the very the, the vast different groups that we have within our company. We have people that have been with the company for 15, 20 years, and your opinions matter to us. We have people that have been, been with us for um, 10 to 15 days, and your opinions matter. Everybody is at a different point in their careers, and having the input from those different groups of agents is really what's gonna drive this culture of collaboration. So, and again, you know, it, it, there's a balance there. With 450-ish agents, there's a balance between having too many cooks in the kitchen and not having enough. So we have to find that balance. So we're gonna tap into to you all to, to serve in, in these different capacities. And it might be for, for one project, it might be for multiple projects, don't get offended if, if we don't tap into you for those first ones. We're trying to kind of spread the, spread the wealth a little bit um, in terms of these masterminds and these agent sounding boards. But we really want to make sure that we're listening and that we're hearing your ideas and that there is a diverse, um, diverse group that, that is weighing in on some of these. The, um, and some of them might be face-to-face -face type meetings, some of them over Zoom for the, for the immediate future but we'll also be sending out surveys. I would invite you when you see those, don't ignore them. This is your opportunity to have, 
to really share your ideas and, and to have a voice in, in what we're doing. Um, and that was one of the, the questions that was submitted was um, about those previous committees and how those will evolve. So hopefully I've answered that. Does anybody have any other, any other questions about the um, kind of the agent masterminds and sounding boards and, and councils as we move forward? If you do, feel free to unmute yourself or you can throw it in chat. All right, I don't see anything. If you have anything, just put it put it in chat um, and I will I'll come back to it. Thank you, Dan. I agree. It's having these uh, these collaboration groups is like I said, I mean, if, if we're going to grow, we, it starts from within um, and and you bring up the word retention and we love our people. That's one of the best things about this company is we have the most amazing people. And if we're constantly focused outward on bringing more people in and not focused inward, we're going to run into some problems. So there's, there's a fine balance between doing both. Okay. So I want to move on to one of the other strategic initiatives that you saw in the email, and that's the modernization of all of our marketing materials. Now you heard me say at the onset that we have to put the best in class tools in your hands. And that really starts at the core of that is our marketing materials. And our marketing materials, and, and I'll be brutally honest, they're a little rusty. Um, they need some modernization and improvement. And one of the things, one of the big changes that you saw was a new director of marketing and communications, Christine Cooper. Christine comes to us, she's got an incredible background, um, worked at Southwest Airlines, worked at the Tennessee Valley Authority, has helped many companies strategize. She helped Southwest Airlines launch. Um, she really understands marketing, consumer marketing, PR, and also has a background um, in real estate as well to some extent. But she kind of has that, that outside view a little bit about what, what consumers need but also with that agent focus, like I said, you know, we've got to put the best tools in your hands and our message will then get out to the consumers. So I have tasked her, instead of taking what we currently have and just tweaking it, what I want her and the marketing team with, with the help of Brian and Devin is to really kind of start over with our marketing materials and, and, and build it out from scratch and make sure, we've got to make sure that from soup to nuts, everything has brand consistency to it. When I say brand consistency, I don't necessarily mean, you know, the BHG brand. I mean, it all has the same look and feel. I want to have best in class marketing. So you all don't feel like you've got to recreate the wheel every time something comes out. I want it to be a plug and play for you. And we know you're going to want to customize it. You're going to want to put your logo on it, your information in there. And that's important. But if we can give you that base that is solid and save you time, avoid having to go out and hire somebody to put together your own marketing materials. That's the point that we want to get to. And this is going to take a little bit of time. This isn't something that we're going to be able to roll out in the next 60 days. Um, pieces of it will start rolling out. You'll start seeing this shift. Um, but really looking at absolutely everything that we're putting out from a marketing perspective and making sure going back that we're doing so from the agent perspective. Um, we are going to do some sounding boards here very shortly to get some input from multiple groups of agents um, to help as we're kind of starting with a blank slate and building all of this. Down the road, I'll just give you kind of a piece of, of where my brain is at um, in terms of what I would like to see down the road. But with a marketing team of, of three people right now trying to serve 450 agents, trying to serve all of our brokers, our admins, um, also trying to, to um, manage all of our social media, all of our digital marketing, that's a lot. And we realize that you all need more help with marketing. So down the road, what I'd like to see us have and what we're working towards is having somebody in each office that really serves as our agent marketing specialist, what I like to call our agent services. So it's that extension of marketing then that's in each office. It's helping you all with things like, I can't figure out how to get this out of Canva with my logo and, and to the printer. Those types of things that 
that you all need help with on a day-to-day -day basis, but having somebody that really is an extension of the marketing department that understands all of the tools and resources that you all need um, from a marketing perspective, that's the direction that eventually, I, that's a place eventually that I wanna to get to. Sorry, I'm reading some, some comments that are coming, coming through in, in chat here. Great comments. Thank you, Sudi. Any questions that you all have on that or anything that I've said that kind of brings, brings any questions to, to mind? Good comments. All right. I don't see, I see good comments coming in. Might ask, are you looking at how to develop an optimal CRM that crosses platforms? Good question, good lead into my next topic here. Um, perfect question, I think I'm gonna answer this. If I don't completely answer this, Mina, let me know, um, chime back in here. But I think that, that this next part here will, will help to, to answer that. Mickey would love to see some BHG Instagram stickers. We will take note of that. I know our marketing team is on watching and listening, so definitely take note of that. So. One of the last strategic initiatives that I talked about um, or our priorities for 2021 is to simplify technology. Um, it, you all get thrown so many things. And part of that is because of the, not just because of Kansas City Homes, but because National is pumping down all sorts of great tools and resources. Some of them are gonna be plug and play for us. Some of them are not, not gonna be the best tools necessarily for us or a duplication maybe of what we already have. Same thing from, from Heartland MLS and from KCRER. We're getting tools from them, but it's our job at corporate to filter those, to make sure that we're not just throwing everything out to you all for you all to figure it out, but we're really taking all that information, we're disseminating it and, and giving you kind of the, the best practices in regards to all of these technologies that are being thrown at you. So as we look at that, um, you know, we're really taking, in, taking a deep dive into every single one of our technology platforms to figure out which is the best in class, which is the one that we want you focused on, that we wanna train you on, and we want you to become experts on. And we realize that all of you have kind of different levels of expertise. Some of you want the basic, just show me how to do it. I just want the basic. Some of you wanna go in and play with it more. Others wanna go in and really customize it. So I had a great question that came up um, that was submitted about, about this um, strategic priority. And it came from, from the Northland office. And she asked how we're gonna streamline this, what we're going to do. So one of the things that we're looking at is making sure from a training perspective is that our technology, we've got clear paths for you. So first and foremost, we've got to give you all a customized experience. And to do that, we've got to understand you and understand our client, which is you, the agent, not just you and as, in, as a whole, all 450 of you in one big group. We can't lump you all together. We've got to, we've got to piece, take, pull you all apart and kind of put you in different groups and figure out what are the best things that you need. What are the things that you need from a training perspective, from a technology perspective, based on what you want and what you need based on your expertise? So we're trying to pull everything apart and put it back together that way. When we look at our technology platforms, and I think I said this, I'll say it again, we're looking at trying to simplify that. So instead of you having access to, and you'll still have access to them, but instead of you having all of this stuff thrown at you, there'll be defined tracks for you as you go through. And that way you can look at things and say, okay, this is what I need. This is, these are the, the pieces. I can ignore the rest. The rest all becomes noise. Um, and I'll go back, Mina, to your question. Um, yes, I know. I'm trying to go back up here through chat and answer any questions that came through. Um, let me talk about this big piece. Um, and this is something that I know many of you haven't met him yet. I think he's on here, but, but Chris Barnes, um, who's our COO, who yes, is, is also my husband, something that he's looking at, he brings a really good outside um, viewpoint to our inner workings. And he took a look, I, I 
made a list for him of all of our technology platforms. And these weren't even all of them. It was really just the ones that you touch as agents. And there were, he starts counting them. He's like, there's 37 different platforms. Are you kidding? He's like, this is too much. So he's really looking at everything from the back end on how we can have one platform that really takes us from relationship, so contact, and that could be meeting somebody at the grocery store that says they're interested in buying a house in six months to a past client, all the way to check, all the way through closing. And how can we minimize the amount of platforms that you're touching and make it simplified? So there's one point of entry. Right now we've got, I think, five or six different points of entry from the agents and also the admins, accounting, relocation, there's so many points of entry right now for, for information and there's so much duplication in what we're doing. So how can we find a platform that is simplified across the board? And that includes my, that CRM. Now, I'm not saying that we're gonna just blow everything up tomorrow and you know pull the rug out from underneath you, but we're looking at all of those things. One of the other questions that came through, and this was somebody um, anonymously that submitted something, it was from the Plaza office, was um, our, our current home suite tools. And I've got to be honest with you, when I'm looking at a platform and I have agents, and this is not the, the, this is the norm, it's not the exception, you all are sitting in training 8, 10, 12 times to learn how to just log in and put a client in and get them set up. That means the system is not quite what we need. We're not changing that tomorrow, but we need to look at other options to make sure that what we do have is easy for you to use and it's best in class. Now, we have to balance that with your threshold of change. We can't just go and change everything at once. That'll create mass chaos. But I have to make sure that your threshold for change, if I can give you a platform that's easier and better, are you okay making that change? And again, I go back to that culture of collaboration where we've got to have your input from the start, not at the end, but at the start to find out what your want need list is with all of these platforms. Hopefully I answered some of those questions. I'm going to scroll back up here and chat. There were quite a few that came in here as I was talking. Um, so give me just a second here as I scroll through. I'm looking for lots of great comments here. I'm glad that you all are excited. Um, I can, Karen, yes, Karen, I can definitely tell that this is very important, <laughs> probably the most important thing to you all. Um, and I, I get that. Having been in your shoes very recently, um, you know, I'm somebody that, that when we get a new technology, I go in and I play with it and I try to figure it out. But, but when I can't even figure it out, um, you know, that's, you know, we, we, need, we need to improve. We need to improve. Paula, thank you for joining and good luck. That's very exciting. Um, so part of this, um, just real quick here, just to kind of, kind of wrap this up. Part of this, the simplifying and the streamlining of technology, you're going to see more, a little bit more centralization in, in what we're doing from a back end. So you heard about it last week. Um, we have promoted um, and so well deserved. Gloria Dorsett from the College Boulevard office is now going to be our director of compliance and processing. Um, what we are finding is that we've got eight different offices and you all are processing contracts very differently. So when the, all of those contracts come up into accounting and come up, up to corporate, we're taking them eight different ways. And we've got, again, multiple platforms where we're having to do manual input, whether that's at the office level or up at corporate. And we've got to streamline that process. It has to be easier than how it is now, because right now it is a mess. So again, we're looking for that end-to-end -end platform. And if we can't find it, then we'll build it. But an end-to-end -end platform that makes everybody's lives easier, not just, you know, obviously you as the agent, but also the admins and the brokers and, and our finance people, um, compliance, all of that has to be streamlined. We already centralize our, our, our technology and our relocation and our finance. So it makes sense to start centralizing 
this um, that piece in terms of processing and compliance, kind of that back end piece that you as agents don't necessarily touch. Um, but it's very important to you. It's important to you that as soon as you have a listing, as soon as you have a contract, that everything is processed seamlessly. Um, you know, we talk about this with our clients that, you know, using the right title company and, the, you know, a, a good lender will streamline and, and take take those pain points out of transactions. We have to make sure as a company we're doing the same thing and that we're not creating bottlenecks um, where we could be really simplifying things in terms of everything that happens on that back end. Any questions, or I know we've got a couple of, I know Chris is on, Christina's on from marketing. We've got a couple people from corporate that are on. If any of you want to chime in and, and add anything that I may have missed, any other questions that um, that you have that I didn't answer or that, um, that maybe I didn't bring up today that, that you all want to uh, want to bring up here before we, before I wrap, wrap it up. You all must not have had enough coffee yet. You're awfully quiet this morning. I am. I just really want to again extend my appreciation to you all. Um, the support as we've gone through the transition has just been amazing. We've got an incredible team. Um, you know, this company is is incredible, and as we've had some outside consultants come in, and um, you know, Christine said to me last week, our our new director of marketing, she was like, "Oh my gosh," she's like, "This it's unreal, the people in this company. It's just she says it's special, and it is." It is. We have something incredibly special here, and we really want to just take us, you know, all of these strategic priorities are built around taking what we have, which is great, and making it even better, taking us to the next level so we can all hit our success goals. I appreciate all the comments um, in chat. If anybody has anything else they want to add, otherwise, um, I wanted to try to keep this to half an hour, and I think that I did it, surprisingly. Um, I was a little nervous with no slides to keep me on track. I was like, hopefully I don't go off on tangents, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to share this with you all. This is, you know, this is something that, that is a big, um, big piece of importance for me, and that's the communication to you all, for you all to understand and really know what's going on from all aspects of the company. Um, you all are out there in the trenches doing the hard work. You're sitting in front of sellers. You've got buyers. That, I mean, you, you guys are out there grinding, and it's a tough business, and I want you to know that you have our full support, um, and, and we want to hear from you. If there's anything that we can do for you in the meantime, please, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and, and you'll expect to hear from me um, quite a bit. And, and again, I just appreciate all the support. I appreciate your willingness to really dig in with us and, and take us from good to great. So thank you all for joining this morning. Appreciate it. I'll hang on for a few minutes. If anybody has any, any questions or any, anything else they want to throw up in chat. Thanks, Christian. This was great. Thank you, Alex. Hey, Christian, it's Shannon. Yes, hi, Shannon. Hi. Hey, I'm so happy and so excited for the vision going forward. Thank you. Thank uh, one, you. One of my questions is, um, do you have any idea on timeline for hiring those people that are going to be in each individual office? Um, I don't. My goal would be um, first half of this year by the end of um, probably within six months is, is kind of what my goal is. Um, it's going to be dependent on a couple of other things. Okay. So it's, it's probably, I, I would, I would guess, um, within, within six months. And I know that you've got a lot you're working on and I so appreciate it. I think it's going to be awesome. Um, and I guess I'm, I'm sure that as you roll it out, we'll get some training on whatever it is that's new and different. Oh, Yes. You'll get lots of training. <laughs> no more <laughs> <just> guessing. <laughs> this is very exciting, Christian. Thank you. I love um, standard processes, and I've always thought you should learn from, it seems like some people keep it so secret. When Linda and I started Holbrook Hearst, we really looked to, coming from Cerner, 
we really looked to um, world-class processes because everybody had been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. And so why aren't you reaping the rewards of really the best processes and the most um, intelligent and, um, I don't know, just gems of knowledge that people have out there and being able to put it into a a bowl and whip it up and, and be able to brand it. So one of the frustrations we have, of course, everybody I'm sure feels is the inconsistencies of other agents out there. And we get some funny ones like hungry agent and whatever they're, they are. And they're all expected to be the same as we are when they just charge a dollar or something to, to list something, but to have, to be able to go into it and say, Oh, it's a BHG agent. So they will have this, 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 and they will always be a professional. They will always exude uh, confidence and most of all, put the client first. So I love it. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Sudi. Great comments. Great, great comments. Appreciate that. And that's, that's absolutely the goal that we're working for is to really set that bar of excellence. Um, and, and like you said, when somebody sees our logo, they see our business card, they know what they're going to get and it's excellence. Um, exactly. and, and that, that I think is, you know, is something that, that we have an incredible foundation of our reputation in this marketplace is, is second to none. And to be able to build on that and to really take that to the next level 